All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakat Kadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Salutations to you, Akim, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity. Uh, presenting your bodies a living sacrifice. Um, uh, I just want to go into this lesson. Um, I do not own the rights to this video, nor am I profiting from it. This is strictly for educational purposes only. Um, but yeah, um, and I also make sure I shout out this guy, uh, MTR, Mediocre T Tutorials and Reviews, um, in the comment section, I mean, in the um, uh, description area. But uh, yeah, this particular uh, video that he did, um, it says, uh, I'm fat because of racism, says plump woman, but there's... But here's the shocking truth, right? So basically you have black women. Well, I'll let you hear it. As you're looking at the title of the video, you're looking at the thumbnail, you already know what time it is. It is time to get active. Video for today is racism to blame for the high rates of overweight black women. This one was sent to me on my Instagram, at Mediocre Tourism Reviews. There's a link in my description box to go and follow me. I look at titles like this, and I just automatically think, just how much power are you going to continue to give for other people regarding your own issues? That's the first thing that I think of. But let me put on my objectivity hat to go in here to see if I can potentially learn something new. Without further ado. We want us to, to, to hold up a little bit before we do this thing where we start blaming ourselves. Like, I hate when people talk about black women being obese. I hate it. Because it becomes a way to blame us for a set of conditions that we didn't create. We're moving, we're taking care of kids, but our food quality suffers. We are living in the Trump era. The research says that black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower, even when we're following the diet than our white women counterparts. Y'all already know I hear claims like that, and I'm going to go ahead and do the research my goddamn self. All right, well, you heard it. Uh, you basically have Eve basically saying that racism is the reason why so many black women and I'm gonna call them black women because <laughs> you know a lot of them ain't right <laughs> so uh, you can be black you know but um a uh that's not the reason why you so called black women have the problems that you have uh physically the reason why you have the problems that you have physically, whether you're talking about birth pains, obesity, okay, a stench, is because of uh, your disobedience to Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, to your to, uh, 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 because you made a deal with the devil, starting with Eve. Okay, so I'm gonna go into it. <clears throat> This is Isaiah 3 and 16. Moreover, Yahweh saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, right? Haughty, meaning proud. You uh, you so-called black women, you're, you're, you're proud, man. You know? And walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and making it tinkling with their feet. Therefore, Yahweh will smite with this, with a scab, the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. So, and that's why a lot of you uh, black women don't have hair. The majority of you do. You know, you have some um, that uh, the Lord didn't really smite with that curse like that. You you'll see a so-called black woman every now and then with long hair. That is an Israelite, you know. But that's very rare, you know. The, the curses are upon you, and the uh, the weave and um, wig industry. It's a multi-billion-dollar industry that the heathen is basically capitalizing on. Man, you know, it goes into the dogs licking our sores. You know, 
But that is a curse that the Lord put on you, man. But having a bald head, man, because you were, you are proud, man. You know, the scriptures talk about a shame-faced woman. Uh, 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 her that is without shame, it should be counted as a dog, man, as the scripture says, man. A shameless woman should be counted as a dog, man. You know. And Yahweh will discover their secret parts. Right? And now, what do you see, man? They're showing their ass everywhere they go. Their butt, they're half naked, man. You know, leaving nothing to the imagination. And the media, which is the witchcraft of, of Esau Edom, which is the serpent, which Eve did make a deal with, has convinced her that that's what men want. Then you got these bugged out simp niggas, you know, these pookies and ray rays who applaud that behavior, man. And what do they do? Run trains on you, uh, uh, drug you up um, and, and get you pregnant and leave you, man. You know, the, these these people who are uh, 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 gassing your head up, man, they don't care about you, man. And that day, Yahweh will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their calls and their round tires like the moon. Right. So, you know, all those little dainty things are going to be taken from you, man. You know, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers. And you saw that during the uh, the first shutdown, man, the first lockdown. All right. You women couldn't get a lot of those accessories that you wanted or, or needed. OK, and that was a, a dry run. That was a test run, you know, to see how you would react. You know, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tab tablets and the earrings, the rings and the nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel, of, of apparel and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins, the glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink, right? Okay. And uh, a lot of you women, man, why? Because you don't you don't follow the laws of Yahweh Shmi Shah. So you have a stink. You have a stink because you're eating abominable foods. You have a stink because you don't uh, let your um, vagina air out. You, you got on these tight ass pants and uh, these these damn um, you know panties. You know, and then you shave all the hair off it uh, off of it, man. Which that's supposed to be there. That's supposed to be there to. Uh, you know, keep your stuff clean, man. You're supposed to have on a dress so it can get air, man. Okay? You know? So, a combination of all these things, man, you know, hey, that's a part of your curse. And instead of a girdle, a rent, right? A, a, a rent, meaning a stomach gut. Okay? Fat. Okay? So, that's why you're fat. You're fat because you're 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 under curses, okay, and you're proud. And instead of well set hair baldness, and instead of a stomacher a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty, right? And a lot of these problems would be reconciled, you know, if you follow the law, statutes, and commandments, man, and if you followed your man. Okay, you got a man that's in the gym. He's trying to eat healthy. He's trying to eat right. He's he's uh he's he's following the laws of, of the Most High as far as what he's eating. Okay, and you want to do your own thing, man. That's why scriptures talk about a mind that's well instructed, man. You know, a a, a woman that's that's uh that is um. That has not that 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 is not being instructed will self destruct, man. The scriptures talk about a woman destroying herself through, through over much liberty, man. So you've been empowered to destroy yourself, man. All right. So that's why, you know. Let me get another scripture on that. 
right? This is Numbers 5 and 12. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, If any man's wife go aside and commit a trespass against him, and a man lie with her carnally, right? So if a woman commits adultery, all right, an Israelite woman, right? And it be hid from the eyes of her husband and be kept close, meaning she keeps it a secret, and she be defiled and there be no witness against her, neither she, neither she, uh, uh, neither she be taken with the manner and the spirit of jealousy come upon him and he be jealous of his wife, meaning he suspects his wife of sleeping around, all right? Committing adultery, which is punishable by, punishable by death, right? And she be defiled, or if the spirit of jealousy come upon him, and he be jealous of his wife, and she be not defiled, then shall the man, so, you know, this is, this is what we did, right? Then shall the man, so you have no witnesses, but you believe that your wife is cheating. She's having sex with another man or men, right? Then shall the man bring his wife unto the priest, and he shall bring her offering up for her the tenth part of an ephah of barley meal. He shall pour no oil upon it, nor put frankincenses thereon, for it is an offering of jealousy and an offering of memorial bringing iniquity to remembrance. And the priest shall bring her near and set her before Yahweh. And the priest shall take holy water in the earthen vessels and of the dust that is in the floor of the tabernacle. The priest shall take and put into the water. And the priest shall set the woman before Yahweh and uncover the woman's head and put the offering of memorial in her hands, which is the jealousy offering. And the priest shall have in his hand the bitter water that causes the curse. And the priest shall charge her by an oath and say unto the woman, If no man have lain with thee, and if thou hast not gone aside to uncleanness with another instead of thy husband, be thou free from this bitter water that causeth the curse. But if thou hast gone aside to another instead of thy husband, and if thou be defiled, and some man have lain with thee, Besides thine husband, then the priest shall charge the woman with an oath of cursing, and the priest shall say unto the woman, Yahweh make the, thee a curse and an oath among the people. And when Yahweh doth make thy thigh to rot, and thy belly to swell, and this water that causeth the curse shall go into thy bowels to make thy belly to swell and thy thighs to rot. And the woman shall say, Amen, Amen. And the priest shall write these curses in a book and he shall blot them out with bitter water. Okay, so this was a, a, a basically a, 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 a drink that the priest made that if you um, if you committed adultery, your belly would swell and your thighs would rot. That's what we call um, what do you call it? A cottage cheese legs. When you see the uh, the woman with uh, a lot of cellulite, okay, in her legs, all right, that's because she's committed multiple acts of adultery. That's the curse that comes along with it, right? And he shall cause a woman to drink the bitter water that causes the curse and the water that causes the curse shall enter into her and become bitter. Then the priest shall take the jealousy offering out of the woman's hand and shall wave the offering before Yahweh and offer it upon the altar. And the priest shall take an handful of the offering, even the memorial thereof, and burn it upon the altar and afterwards shall cause the woman to drink the water. And when he hath made her to drink the water, then it shall come to pass that if she be defiled and have done trespass against her husband, that the water that causes the curse to enter her and become bitter and her belly shall swell and her thighs shall rot. Again, that cellulite and the woman shall be a curse among her people. And if the woman be not defiled, but be clean, then shall she be free and shall conceive seed all right so uh 
yeah. And uh, the penalty for that was um, uh, uh, death, man. You know, if she if she committed adultery, man. You know, and and what do our women do? They commit adultery. Uh, like it's nothing, man. Scripture says, "My, my, my uh, the, how how they drink iniquity like like water, man." Oh, she eateth and wipeth her mouth and says she done no wrong, man. See, that's the thing with uh, the so-called black woman, man. She has zero account accountability, man. That's why Scripture said, uh, "Thou has a whole whore's forehead, man. Thou refuses to be ashamed, man." All right. These women have zero accountability in this place, man. You know, as it says, I believe in the book of Amos that um, I will not um, punish your your wives when they commit adultery. I believe that's Amos. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, so you have um, basically this black woman, you know. Basically saying that racism, Donald Trump, is um is the cause of a uh, of their obesity, man. And 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 that's not the case, man. What what's happened is you've been given over much, you've been given to over much liberty, man. What's happening is you are proud against the Most High. You're proud against your man. You're just proud. And what's happening is you're cursed. You're cursed. See, one thing I'm learning about the so-called black woman is, and, and the apostle said, have been saying it for years, man. Stay the hell away from the black woman, man. You know? You know? Stay the hell away from uh, the black woman, man. You know? I, I remember recent, recently, just a couple of days ago, I got attacked by a black woman that I didn't even know. Never spoke to her. Never never spoke to her. Never saw her. I guess um, she saw me cohorting with white women, man, and, and physically attacked me, man. You know, so-called white women, eating white women, which are much easier to deal with in this place. They're devils, too. Don't get me wrong. You know, the American woman as a whole is trash. You know, but, uh, you know, if you're going to deal with a woman, man, like in America, it's like digging in the garbage for like the least um, spoiled food. <laughs> you know, you want to catch that sandwich that that <laughs> that just got thrown away, man. <laughs> you know. So that's the reason why uh, you, you so-called black women are fat, man. Scriptures say the uh, through the woman became the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. All right. So, hey, man, and and death just shrouds the black woman. It just follows her, man. Death and just chaos, you know. Just, just, uh, like the 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 worst thing to ever encounter is a nigga woman, man. I'd rather fucking encounter. A, goddamn racist white man than, than a goddamn nigga woman, man. You know, in these streets, man. Because <laughs> she's, uh, as the scripture says, she who is my enemy uh, shall see it, shame shall cover her, and then she shall be trodden down as the mire of the streets, man. And a so-called black woman is an enemy to us. She's an enemy to herself. She's an enemy to her children. Okay, she's a detriment to the whole so-called community, and that's being exposed. She's a child murderer. She murders her own children. You know, the the, the worst thing to deal with in this place is a, is the nigger woman, man. You want to leave that bitch to her own devices, man. Excuse my French, man. But yeah, with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Shemir, on Shai, by Shemir, Kakadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, a great millstone. So he tells you to you, I can push in this word with truth and with charity. Hope this lesson was edifying. Shalom, Wam, and the Bible, Bob.